uh, I used to hate science, man It seems so crazy to me Especially this table full of squares up in chemistry It looks kinda hard, but it's pretty easy science And once you understand, I know you can apply it The periodic table lists atoms and elements The ingredients to all scientific development You gotta read the table from left to the right Elements in order of atomic number from side to side Inside the large table are boxes that explain In elemental symbols, proton count and atoms weight Elements are organized based on how they look the neck But you've seen this all before, don't need to tell you that The table's like a grid with rows and columns Horizontal rows of periods, groups top to bottom Each row's a different period Up on the grid, the seven total rows So the seven total periods Yeah Exists. That's the number of electrons that orbit the nucleus Since you know there's seven periods, only seven rows Some elements have up to seven atomic orbitals Eighteen vertical columns, these are called groups The first group has one electron, the second has two Count the groups from left to right and you'll see The numbers of electrons in each outer shell will increase The elements are grouped by similar qualities How they look, how they act, all determine categories Metals on the left, non-metals on the right In between we got transition metals, some are alkaline there's alkali earth metals, smaller in size, and also some lengthenized and some actinized. Now metals consist of halogens and double gases. Then we have metalloids. It's the it's the it's the Details. Let me explain exactly what each category entails Each category holds different properties for atoms To separate elements, hydrogen and magnesium Metals are metallic, shiny in the state They're malleable, so soft enough to hammer into shape These metals conduct heat and electricity They're solid in room temperature except for mercury These metals lose electrons to form cations Now metals gain electrons to form anions Speaking of non-metals, these are a little different Non-metals on this table can be solid gas or liquid and these are the halogen noble gases that I mentioned Then we have metalloids, better check your apprehension said, And these are the halogen noble gases that I mentioned Then we have metalloids, better check your apprehension Yeah.